Okay guys, welcome to another episode. Today we're dealing with a seized caliper pin and I'm going to show how to remove this guy with, with just very, very basic hand tools. Uh, if you do have a blowtorch, you can use that absolutely and heat up the body down here and try to get this pin out. But in this case, all that I'm going to use is a flathead screwdriver. Now, regarding the screwdriver, the longer, the better. Let me show you compared to your normal uh, or smaller flathead screwdriver. If you take a look at the tips here, this guy just has a lot more surface area and that's what we really want to shoot for because the more surface area the more contact we'll make on this pin because this guy is really seized up. I tried to take this off camera and it was really seized and I decided hey what the heck might as well throw this online so maybe it'll help some of you guys out there. The other thing that I'm going to use is a heavy hammer. This happens to be a three or four pound hammer. So my plan is to wedge the screwdriver against the pin and stand up in this case, this screwdriver is so long, I can stand up and just whack the heck out of it. So that's my plan. I think it will work. What I've done is I've actually measured how far this pin is out from the, uh, the mount here, and it's about one inch. So if it's not moving, or excuse me, if it's not coming out immediately, I can at least measure the pin and make sure or verify that it is at least slowly moving out there because, again, this guy's really seized up there. The other thing you can try you get yourself a good pair of vice grips. You can try, whoa. You can try uh, placing vice grips on the pin and then taking a hammer and just whacking it. And nothing happened for me. I mean, th these are a very good pair of vice grips. These are Craftsman. And I actually used this heavy guy, the uh, three pound hammer, and just kept on nailing it and nothing was happening. But I think this technique will work. So let's go ahead and find out. And of course, don't forget to wear safety glasses. So what I'm going to start with is just spraying the back of the pin here with WD-40. If you have PB Blaster, that's okay too. And let me just see if I can do this without blocking the camera. But just spray a little bit in there. It may help out. You know, it doesn't hurt in this case. All right, let's do it. Okay, so the end result is I completely failed. Nothing is happening here. I even tried hammering it out with the chisel and the three pound hammer zipped happened. In fact, I even measured uh, to see if the guide pin was moving at all and nothing has happened, not even a centimeter, this thing is moving. So, uh, really if you are looking to do this job, I am gonna post this video anyway, uh, really as a lesson, but if you want, you can give this method a try. It may work, uh, but in this case, just nothing happened. So again, if you are doing this, you can try heating up the bottom bracket down here, get it very, very hot, and then you can uh, most likely twist and remove this pin with a vice grip. Most likely that will work. Well, the second option is you can go ahead and replace the entire bracket, and that's exactly what I did, in fact. I picked this up from AutoZone. This is a remanufactured caliper bracket. It was 19 bucks, and I also went to grab some new pins here and the rubber boots. Altogether, it was around $30. In my opinion, that's just, in my case, it was just easier to do that. I can save a ton of time, just pick up the parts, replace it, and that's really about it. So if you are doing this job, you can try using the hammer and the screwdriver, but if it's really solidified on there, as you can see previously, it beat the heck. It bent it and mangled the, that pin, and nothing was happening. So I just decided to replace all of it. Uh, so I'm just gonna reassemble everything here, and uh, we'll be in good shape. And also at the same time, I'm replacing the rotor because the old rotor really needed replacement as well. And then I'm going to use a little bit of 
brake grease and coat the top pin, this guy right here, on top of the uh, caliper. Okay, and then of course you don't want to forget the shims. Make sure you take them off the old bracket. And then you're going to take a little bit of silicone grease and just dab the ends. Of course for the brake pads. And then of course I'm going to grab the new caliper pin, apply grease to it, and as you can tell, a good amount of grease because I don't want to run into this problem again. Place your new rubber boot over it, and there we go. Well, Reinstall the brake pads here. Don't forget to put a little bit of brake grease on the back of the pad. We have another guy right here. And again, a little bit of brake grease. Swing down the caliper like so. We'll reinstall the lower nut here. We'll tighten this guy down and we'll be in good shape.